Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt, Prime Minister of the Commonwealth of Dominica. Honorable Kelva Daru, Minister for Information, Science, Telecommunications, and Technology. Other honorable ministers of cabinet, and I'm happy to see all of you here. When you leave, I'm going to frame that whole part and leave it here. <laughs> this first time the entire cabinet has been at the campus in recent days, and we're happy to see you here. That tells us how important the Center of Excellence is. Thank you. His Excellency Gauri Shankar Gupta, High Commission of India. Honorable Daniel Luge, Parliamentary Representative for the Rosanoff Constituency. Your Excellency Steve Farrell, Secretary of the Cabinet. Mrs. Ivanette Baron George, Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Information, Science, Telecommunications, and Technology. Other permanent secretaries, Mr. Bennett Thomas, Director of Telecommunications, Monsignor Eustace Thomas, other invited guests, members of the media, my students who, although they're on vacation, found it necessary and useful to be here. I want to thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It is indeed a pleasure to welcome you here, all of you here today, this morning, to what the college considers a, another historical event in the young history of this institution. The event is historic because it manifests some of the very objective of a modern college in the 21st century. One, the event marks a continuation of meaningful partnerships between the government of Dominica and the State College. Two, it contributes significantly to the development of the college and other countries and the country's ICT capacity building. And thirdly, it once again affords the opportunity for the college personnel to work side by side with Indian professionals, thus furthering the college initiative towards the internationalization of our campus. I want to therefore take this opportunity to thank the Roosevelt Skerritt local government led government on the initiatives and action in taking steps to involve the college in national development. All of the ministries of foreign affairs in particular has been good partners of the college. So as the Minister of Technology, Minister of Education, Ministry of Employment, Ministry of Tourism and Agriculture, and the list goes on. In 1986, um, in the United States, the uh, commission was um, commissioned called the Pew Report. And they reported at that time that no university anywhere in the world can survive in the old days, old traditional days, as a place of learning, and only they must educate people. We now know that we must interact and be partners with the community at large government, private sector, and the community around us. And to that, the college, I must say, is doing precisely that. We are pleased that we have partnerships with international institutions. We hire most of our people from our neighborhood, so they are embrace the concept of this is the college. And we want to reach out to the entire nation to come here to educate themselves. I'd also like to observe that ICT and the internet are the options for developing a country's sustainable development. It affords a number of opportunities for us. In Dominica, the main industries are agriculture and tourism. The most governments in developing countries have to are uh, constrained by the brick and mortar development. ICT and telecommunications, together with the internet, provide a unique opportunity for our students and our people in Dominica to create employment for themselves and for their communities. We could, um, for instance, with the launching of the ICT, Dominica State College plans to deliver video classes to people in Capuchin, Pebush, Grand Bay, Antigua, St. Martin, Guadeloupe. These are some of the capacities we want to generate from this launch, um, ICT center. But more importantly, the students who come here, they need to embrace the option of ICT and internet as a concept for sustainable development. GoMeeting is a piece of software, an app that was invented so that I can attend a meeting in Miami without ever leaving my office. And um, Dominicans can do that. For those of you do, who do not know that, nine Dominican students participated in something called Digital Jam put on by the World Bank two years ago out of uh, uh, selective students from the rest of the Caribbean. 
Jamaica had 39, Dominic had 9, Trinidad had 2, Barbados had 1, Antigua had 1. Dominic had 9, the second highest number. And they were very, very good in developing apps. So these students are still around, some of them have left, but they will be millionaires very soon. So the, the structure and the need for ICT for the center of excellence cannot be overemphasized. We are pleased that we are um, privileged to host the center, and in two years we will take over the center. The Dominica State College will be running the center. The plan is to work with the Indian professionals to learn all, everything possible, training the trainers, so that two years from now we will continue the work that they have started and that the people of Dominica will benefit from the work and the launching of the Center for Excellence. So once again, on behalf of the college community, I want to thank the government of Dominica and the government of India for having the foresight to work with us to put what I consider a very, very important institute right here on our campus. It will add to the value of the, of the institution, but most importantly, it will help students and people of Dominica develop the skills in ICT. So all that is required now is that we, meaning Dominicans, take advantage of the center of excellence. Thank you and welcome.